Desmond and I'm a reporter for Youth Radio. I'm standing here on the shore of Treasure Island where I'm watching the sun go down behind the San Francisco skyline and it's gorgeous. I can definitely see myself wanting to live here, especially with all the developments that are going to be happening in the next few years on this island. But some of the residents on the island are concerned about the safety and whether or not their children are safe here. So I'm here to do some interviews and determine how much of a concern that is. I used to live here when I was like five, six, seven. I mean, island was cool. If you wanted a quiet neighborhood, a small place to live, and like one supermarket, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a good island. But you can't grow on um, I the island soil. <laughs> they gotta be in like a bed or in a pot with new fresh dirt. Because this ground is like, it's questionable, you have to test it. Did your families know about that when you guys moved here? No, that that this was way long but they ago. They said they like if you want to move, like you get paid to move off the island. Yeah, they pay you to move off the island. Like, yeah, yeah they, they pay you. some people to move off the island because of the radiation, so they yeah. can find them a new place. I think it's yeah. something like that. And then half of these buildings are closed because they used to be old army bases. Yeah, so. I was gonna ask about the closed buildings. Yeah, like yeah, some parts of the island closed off because there's more radiation yeah. in that area than more than the other areas. Stuff I'm just worried about the radiation because it probably can affect me later in life. I think the bottom line that what residents want to know is from everything the Navy knows to date and the regulators know from date, because it is, again, a data-driven process, from everything we know from the history and the data that we have, is it safe for the residents to live here and to remain here in the neighborhood? And the answer is yes, from everything we found to date. Now, it is inconvenient and I have to really salute the residents of Treasure Island because of what they're having to go through while the Navy um, does its investigation and its cleanup. As you've seen when you tour the island, we've erected a lot of fences. There's a lot of big holes that we've had to dig. There's a lot of equipment we've had to put in their backyards. We've had to investigate inside their homes on occasion. Their sidewalks, the roadways, we've had to dig trenches. Um, we've had to take groundwater samples in many locations. And we have to do some of this on a fairly frequent basis. In my experience as an environmental scientist, there is nothing special about Treasure Island in terms of the level of contamination here for just about anything that we found. But also, there's high visibility here. It's an island in the middle of the bay, very beautiful, about to become another new portion of the city of San Francisco. It gets a lot of visibility, both from the Navy, because it's a very high profile program with schedules and funding attached to it, but also for the city of San Francisco because they have great plans for the future of Treasure Island.